This is the circuit diagram of an edge bridge. When input 1 becomes high, transistor T1 and T2 will be activated and motor will rotate in one direction. At the same time, we will make input 2 to low state, so T3 and T4 will be in off state. When input 2 becomes high, transistor T3 and T4 will be activated and motor will rotate in opposite direction. At the same time, we will make input 1 to the low state and hence T1 and T2 will be at off state. Let's see the circuit connected with the Arduino. We are using pulse width modulation pins 9 and 10 for controlling the speed of motor. Let us assemble the circuit in a breadboard. This is BC547. We are using 4 547 transistors for this circuit. These are 1 kilo ohm resistors for base biasing of the transistors. Let's start assembling it. First we will assemble for one direction and will test it without Arduino. We need to test it whether it is working fine or not. Then we will assemble the other direction circuit. The both circuits are symmetrical. The only difference is that we are changing the connections to the motor. After that we will connect to Arduino. This is the external power supply connection. We have connected the input directly to the positive supply. So the motor will run at full speed. Let us switch on the power supply now. The motor is running in clockwise direction. Let us start assembling the next section. Now the motor is running in clockwise direction. Now we change the input so that the motor will run in anti-clockwise direction. Now the motor is running in anti-clockwise direction, which means our circuit is working fine.
make use of digital feed also. If so, then the motor will run in full speed. The motor will run for 5 seconds in one direction and will stop and then run in opposite direction for 5 seconds and go on. Please click here for subscribing my channel. And thank you for watching.